Hey, what's up you guys? Megan here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. First, we're gonna start where I'm standing right now, the kitchen. Let's start with the dishware, shall we? First thing for me that comes to mind in the kitchen are plates, cups, silverware, etc. I'm assuming if you guys are living in college apartments or even a first apartment too, you're gonna have roommates. So in an ideal world, everyone contributes and kind of brings their own stuff. So that's really helpful to kind of split it up. One tip is for people to get their own things rather than split something. So if you guys were getting a rug, one person would get the rug and maybe one person gets the couch, something like that, rather than splitting the cost of something because then at the end of the year you have to deal with that whether someone pay back the other price or you both have to sell it like definitely if you can get hand-me-down silverware cups plates anything like that just because they're gonna get wrecked anyway probably that's what I've learned is especially for like kitchen wares don't bring a bunch of nice stuff you can bring nice stuff but I would definitely just err on the side of either buying something really cheap or just like getting a hand-me-down or something like that just because it's gonna get wrecked especially with pots and pans if you're living in your first apartment by yourself obviously you can trust yourself I guess to take care of those things one thing I will say that's always been very helpful not everyone's moved in yet but just having like plastic cups for whenever people come over to drink or party or anything like that just because when you're pre-gaming if you do that or you have parties at your apartment or whatever you're really not gonna want to drink your drinks out of a glass I mean it makes you feel bougie but people drop something or whatever just plastic cups and they're just easy to throw in the dishwasher they stack like this in the cabinet and it's just much easier if you don't have anything definitely check out home goods or tj maxx or marshall's or anything like that for sets of glasses i think this one was a set from home goods i find that that's a lot cheaper than target walmart actually has a lot of good stuff too so definitely check out there and kind of compare prices but you can get a set of like eight glasses or something for like under 20 bucks which isn't too bad also everything does not need to match it just doesn't. The best plates ever, I mean, are they the best plates ever? No, they're so cheap though. The Target like plasticky ones, I had a couple from my dorm. They're just absolute essential. They're like 79 cents a piece. So definitely pick up those instead of plates that are like five bucks from Target for just one, just because like it's gonna get nasty anyway, so just get that. Another thing, let me grab it. Also probably going to need a water filter because if you're really like me, your fridge doesn't have a water dispenser. This is the best water filter in the freaking game. This is a zero water filter, and by the way, I'm gonna link everything down below. This is freaking amazing. I can't live without it, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to find a way to integrate it into the apartment because it won't fit in our fridge this year. It did last, or two years ago. We have a Brita in there at the moment. This is amazing, one, because it's the best filtration in the game. Like, this water is crisp, so good. But also it's helpful because you can just load the water in with a cup at the top and never have to take this out of the fridge, which is nice. And your water's just always crispy. So, highly recommend investing in one of these. Another thing that I got this year from Ikea, it was like less than 10 bucks, was a pot and pan organizer down for underneath our cabinets to organize and just like hold all the pots and pans together. This literally changed the game. Like it's, it's just, I just know it's gonna be so much easier. That just really makes everything convenient and encourages everyone to put it where they belong. I have a quick list of things y'all might forget about, something maybe you have at home. I feel like whenever I first moved into the apartment, I was like, oh my gosh, wait, I forgot you actually have to buy this. So just little things like cutting boards, oven mitts, Tupperware, trash cans, and especially getting a big one, because let's be honest, you're not gonna wanna take out the trash as much as you think you will. I mean, no one enjoys that. You definitely want a big trash can, not one that goes underneath the sink. Any kind of cooking utensils, like you can get like a, this is a bamboo set that we have, a knife block. We have one back there from like my parents first house and I just resharpen the knives and they work fine can opener no one ever remembers a can opener and you never need it until you need it one time and then what you gonna do you don't have a can opener spices we have a whole actually spice cabinet up here because Liv has a bunch of stuff you definitely don't need like actual chip clips but we have those because these are Liv's clothes pins work too just to store all of your like chips and popcorn and stuff like that saran wrap ziplock bags aluminum foil stuff like that for like food storage lemon lime squeezer if you are a big mixed drink person or you like lemon water or anything like that 
buying one of these changes the game. Just makes your life so much easier and you really get all the juice out of every lemon or lime. Highly recommend. If you guys don't have an ice maker, you definitely want ice cube trays. I love the silicone ones just because they're a lot easier to pop out. And then you can put like a mixing bowl or something like that in your freezer to just like store all the ice cubes so that it's like you have an ice cube dispenser, but you don't. And if you're a big wine drinker or beer or anything like that, you definitely want to have a bottle opener with a corkscrew. One of these little things. These ones are my personal favorite. You can get like the bougie automatic ones, but these work fine because they're a bottle opener and corkscrew. I got this for Christmas years ago. It's this little OXO avocado cutter. This cuts it, this depits it, and then this slices it. This is a great gift for someone. Also, just standing here thinking, meat thermometer. You need a meat thermometer, and anyone who doesn't have one, I don't trust them. This little scrub daddy sponge, this is the best in the game. Changed my mind. You literally only need to buy like one or two per year, so maybe you should be buying one more often, but I don't. Last thing that we have up here are like mixing bowls, baking things, and also air fryer and blender. I personally don't use the blender because I don't really do like homemade protein shakes. If you're into that, definitely want to bring a blender. I also use it for frozen margaritas. That's more my speed. Air fryer, that's a new addition this year and we have one at home now in our oven. Game changer. I think every college student should have one. Now let's travel over to the living room and I can give you guys some tips on what to bring. Coming at you now from the living room, the obvious things that you're gonna need here are couch, TV stand, TV if you want it, etc. Especially, especially, especially for a college apartment, you should not be purchasing a new couch. Just, that's a waste of money. Absolutely not. Especially if you go to school in a big college town, like people are always getting rid of their sh and that's like my biggest recommendation is to get hand-me-downs from people. My dad and my brother actually moved in both these couches this weekend, so these are new additions to the space. This couch is from one of my best friend, Lauren's grandma. Shout out Nana and Grampy, y'all are the goat. This couch is gonna look so fire. I mean, it already looks so fire. It has a singular pillow on it, so. We're working on that. I wanted to opt for two couches in the space just because I wanted more seating for whenever my friends came over. So this couch is over here. It's like a gray, it's just very neutral. And then also we have this couch, which doesn't have a couch cover on it yet. That's coming. I don't even know that you guys would recognize this couch, but <laughs> this is actually from my dad's office. And I actually just ordered a slip cover from Target. This is a great way to just neutralize any couch. Don't pay a lot for couches. We don't need brand new, particularly in a college apartment, unless you're literally loaded, then go off. I'm jealous. Whenever I think living room, I think having people over and having a good time and just a space where everyone can feel really comfortable and welcome. So a couple like entertaining things, I guess, that you should have are a speaker. I have just like a JBL speaker. I bought this at the beginning of college. One of the best things I've bought, I use it all the time and it was less than a hundred bucks. Super reliable, waterproof, stood the test of time. We love it. Also having extra blankets as you can see I have three here I also have an extra duvet or comforter in my room for if anyone sleeps over they can sleep on the couches or also we have a couple air mattresses in our little linen closet back there so that's really good for people who are staying a couple nights or just even one night for them to be a little bit more comfortable than sleeping on the couch great 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 investment I've had my air mattress <laughs> What was that? I've had my air mattress forever. I've used it countless times, so well worth the money. Another thing for the TV, you definitely wanna make sure you get either an Amazon Fire Stick or a Roku Stick if you don't have a smart TV, which I guess any TV you buy new you can get, but this one was literally for free from my grandfather's house, so. And then you just pay like 40, 50 bucks for a stick and you can take that anywhere and it turns any TV into a smart TV. After my research, I found that the Roku Stick is better than the Amazon Fire Stick. Also, in order to watch TV, if you want to connect your computer to the TV, you can obviously buy an Apple TV thing, and we have one at home, but we don't have one at school, where you can like airplay onto the TV. You wanna make sure that you have an HDMI and a converter to connect it to your computer so it can play straight from your computer onto the TV. Game changer. The last thing I always find myself reaching for, and I'm going to finally pick up this year, are a deck of cards or like fun little card games for people to play, whether they're drinking games or just like you guys are hanging out. You can play a ton of drinking games with like just regular decks of cards, but like you can get those like for the girls games and like you know what I'm talking about, like those fun little games. Just little things like that, just fun things to do if your friends are over and you guys are bored or anything like that. Just a little entertainment. Now that we've talked about the living room, let's move in to the bedroom to talk about some of the things. Ooh, 
lighting. Talk about some of the things I couldn't live without in here. We've now moved into my partially finished bedroom. Don't mind that. I'm gonna talk about some of the things I've loved in my apartment that have made a big difference. First of all, these are LED lights, which not an essential by any means, but these are so fun. I feel like you can put them underneath your desk or I'm gonna put these around my bed. You can actually control these from your phone, which is really nice. I have really enjoyed having these and I'm gonna put them on my bed soon. And they're a cheap way to make your room just feel a lot more fun. Another thing that is actually plugged in down here that I have loved having for my room is a surge protector slash one of those outlets with multiple outlets. In college, but also just in life, you're gonna have so many things plugged in, especially at like your desk or your nightstand or anything like that. So you wanna make sure, obviously one, all your electronics, if your computer's plugged into that, you wanna make sure they're protected just in case of an outage or something like that. But also just for convenience, you can just like line up all your plugs and just have everything nice organized. I feel like lamps are really just a way to make your room feel so much more cozy and at home. You also don't have to have this harsh overhead light on all the time. It's like really yellowy. I really like lamps to just make a space feel a lot more at home. Also, I just think they look better, so. Something else that you definitely need in your room, I'm looking at it right now. Over the door mirror. I've had this since I was like 13 something. This is from Target, it's like 10 bucks. It's not the most stable thing, but like whatever, it works. You gotta check yourself out before you go out the door. Like this skirt, she's looking a little short. It's okay. I actually don't have any examples here. I have to order more because I used them all in my last apartment. But another thing that I love for my desk is this little cord organizers. I bought those for the first time last year. I was like, oh, this is so extra. False. I love them. Especially if you're like me and you just keep your shit plugged in all the time, which I'm not sure that that's like good to do, but I do it. So mm. another thing, if you're short on storage, you definitely want to check out bed risers. I actually don't have any for this bed because I couldn't quite figure it out for the queen, but I loved it for the twin. This year I'm utilizing under the bed shoe storage, which not many shoes in here at the moment, but this is how I'm storing my shoes this year because I have very minimal storage. Okay, now I'm coming at you with the very poor lighting of my bathroom. I'll keep this quick. Essential number one, these little over the door hooks for your towels or robes or anything like that. As you can see, we have two towel bars in this bathroom, but it's just not gonna be enough. So having one either on the outside, inside, these are from Walmart. Also this little over the toilet organizer is adding so much space to this bathroom. Now she definitely needs to be secured into the wall, if we can't tell. This I actually got for free off of a local Facebook page. Never thought I'd be talking about this on my channel, but if you're not using a squatty potty, what are you doing? That's all I need to say. Last little thing, you guys need this thing. This is like a little stacking organizer. This is from Made Smart. We're back where we started. I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of things that are kind of just random that you wouldn't think about, but you should definitely bring. Number one, drying rack. This is from Target, maybe Walmart. I don't know, it's a collapsible drying rack. Opens like this, closes like that. I personally hang dry a ton of my clothes, so that's really helpful just for convenience and then you can store it away super nicely. Another thing is a fan. You just, you never know when you're gonna need it, whether the AC goes out or is it just a little hot. I like to sleep with them on at night, honestly. Also, an air purifier is great for just like allergens in the air. I definitely use that a lot more this year. My mom got me one because of COVID, but I also found that for allergies too, it really, really helped. And it's another kind of like white noise thing as well, which is not why you should get it, but definitely doesn't hurt. Also, just like a little key holder at the door. I need to get one just for like apartment keys, car keys, whatever. Super cute, just very homey. We had that at my last apartment just for the driveway because we all had to like move each other's cars sometimes, so that was really helpful. But just like having like a dish or something like that at the front door. I feel like people often forget scissors or tools, just like basic tools like a screwdriver set, hammers, stuff like that. Those are really good to have and you just never know when you're gonna need them. Last thing I'll say, I said this in my last room organization video, those freaking cubicles are game changers. I'm looking at one over there. I already have a three cube one in my closet, but those things are just game changers and I use them every year. So worth the investment. I'm actually gonna take one out of my car right now to put in the hallway for some more storage. So you'll always find a use for it. And I think that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, let me know in a comment down below. Also let me know any other college videos you guys wanna see. I love talking about apartment stuff, apartment decor. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new, definitely make sure to subscribe down below for new college videos every week and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.